Hello and welcome to this home cinema myth-busting series, starting with part one, native 4K versus fake 4K. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm Christopher Mullins. I'm the Sony home cinema product manager, and I'll be taking you through the uh, content today. So firstly, um, I'd like to take you through a short history of Sony's involvement in projection technology and our journey all the way from the early days up to our native 4K projection systems we have today. Um, and then we'll discuss what um, native 4K actually means. Uh, followed by um, pixel shifting technologies that are in the market today, and then a final uh, summary to think about. So let's get into it. So um, for nearly 40 years now, Sony has been uh, inventing and innovating to create world leading projectors for both home and business use. This diagram shows the evolution of Sony projection technology to all the way through to our 4K uh, models we see today. So don't panic, I'm not gonna go through every single one, but I'm gonna highlight just a couple of models uh, related to home cinema. So back all the way back in 1973, we have our very first home cinema projector, um, the world's first, in fact, uh, created by Sony. Um, and this was followed by our hugely popular CRT three tube projectors in 1983, 1989. Uh, I'm sure a couple of you may have uh, spent a few hours aligning uh, those machines or maybe the professional version. Uh, and then moving up to uh, the uh, to 2003, where we have our first uh, 2K SXRD uh, projector called uh, the Qualia. Uh, and this was the first projector with SXRD panels, which uh, offered a superb uh, contrast, really uh, game changing in the market. Um, and this was followed um, shortly after by the development of our first native 4K SXRD panel in 2004. Uh, and these panels were utilized in the development of our professional 4K digital cinema projectors from 2007. Um, and since uh, that development, we actually deployed more than 23,000 of these commercial uh, projection systems uh, worldwide in uh, cinema chains. Um, and finally, uh, in 2011, we have the first uh, native 4K home cinema projector with the VPL VW1000. Um, and the development hasn't stopped there. Since we, since then, we've continued to innovate and improve our 4K projectors with subsequent generations of SXRD technology and introducing our first 4K home cinema laser projector with the VPL VW5000 2016 uh, and a number of models since then. Um, so as you can see, Sony's been in the projection technology since the very beginning. Uh, and continues to bring you the highest quality projectors to exceed uh, your, your expectations in the home and in business. Um, so with the aim of delivering you the highest quality projectors, you probably heard uh, me mention the term native 4K uh, a few times uh, during the last slide, and you may have not be completely clear what it actually means. Surely 4K is 4K. Well, actually, no. Um, native 4K is actually a term that's unique to projectors. Um, and it's used when uh, projectors contain imaging panels that um, utilize the correct number of pixels to display 4K uh, content pixel perfectly. This means each in an imaging panel uh, in Sony's case, uh, the high contrast SXRD panel has uh, 4096 by 2160 pixels, or a total of 8.8 .8 million pixels per panel. Um, and actually, in, in Sony's case, we actually have three panels in every system. So every projector has three panels, and there's one for red, one for green, and one for blue. And we, we chose to do this to have a higher color performance um, and a, a greater color output by having three separate panels. Um, and having a panel that can, or three panels in our case, that can display 4K UHD images pixel perfectly is key in today's age, uh, especially where 4K UHD content is so widely available on UHD Blu-rays, uh, in 4K PlayStation games, and uh, also in streaming services, uh, as we all know. Uh, but surprisingly, not all 4K branded or competitive, uh, compatible, sorry, um, home cinema projectors are native 4K. Um, and this results in a compromised performance, as we'll discuss um, next. So 
if, if a home cinema projector isn't native 4K, then what is it? Well, more than likely, if it isn't a SXRD or LCOS based device, it's more than likely a DLP, a DMD based um, system, which is like a lower, a lower contrast uh, panel uh, technology. Um, and the interesting point here is that um, with these 4K compatible systems that utilize these DLP panels, they're actually, they actually use less than 4K resolution on their panels. Typically, they come in two varieties. Um, we have uh, 1920 by 1080 HD panels with uh, 2.2 million pixels and a slightly larger 2716 by 1528 panel, a kind of, I would say, a 3K panel with 4.15 million pixels. None of these... Uh, neither of these panels get to the 8.8 .8 million pixels you need for, for a native 4K. Um, and this is very unique to projectors, where a device can be called a 4K projector or a true 4K projector without actually having the pixel capacity at a hardware level uh, to be able to um, show this, um, to, to, dis to display this. Uh, but more on this in a moment. Uh, and on top of this, um, these uh, 4K systems with the uh, DLP DMDs are typically uh, single panel systems. So this allows them to be smaller, uh, typically more cost effective. These are usually for the, the lower budget models. Um, but having a single panel requires the use of a, a color wheel to filter and generate the, the colors. Um, and this results in a, in a lower color light output compared to their white light output. Um, this could impact kind of the, the overall HDR quality, the balance of the colors, can't, maybe may not feel quite as natural as it would with a three panel system. So um, exactly how are they getting from these um, HD panels or the slightly the, the kind of 3K panel to, to a 4K uh, image? Um, and these systems actually use a technique called pixel shifting. Um, and there's various different names that the manufacturers use um, and brandings for, for this technology. But essentially, they're, they're all the same thing. And they come in kind of two key varieties, depending on the panel size and the micro mirror array resolution that you're using. Um, for the HD panel, um, it shifts uh, the panel through, through the projection lens mechanism uh, in four directions. So it moves in kind of a clockwise rotation, moving up one step at a time in uh, a 240 hertz um, to quadruple the pixels to enhance the image to 4K. And a similar thing happens with the slightly bigger panel. Um, it shifts in only two directions at 120 hertz to double the pixels to enhance the image uh, to 4K. So this is what pixel shifting is. Um, essentially, you're utilizing a more cost effective uh, panel technology um, and you're shifting it very, very quickly uh, to kind of enhance or, or kind of simulate a 4K image on screen. Um, and this is a way of making your device compatible with a 4K signal, even if you haven't got the panel technology to, to show it natively. Um, and to be honest, the, the technology to be able to do this is, is pretty cool. Um, being able to, to move something this fast, this accurately at that frequency, to be able to deliver an enhanced image is some, some amazing technology. But it does come with um, compromises um, when it comes to clarity on screen. So let's take a look at that in a bit more detail. Um, and th this is an important point um, about kind of quality um, and 4K um, on screen. When, when your customers or when you personally want to have a 4K uh, projection system at home, you want a high quality um, projection system. You want something that's going to amaze and immerse you in, in the details. And when you're using this pixel shifting technology, um, you aren't actually achieving that 4K clarity that the, that the content creator intends. So um, and one way to highlight this is through the use of, of test patterns. This is what people use when they want to test if a, if a projection system is really capable of delivering 4K or not. Um, so on this page, we have a series of one dot and two dot test patterns. Um, and these are some of the most challenging patterns for high resolution projectors. So starting with the one dot test uh, 4K test patterns, uh, we can see that the Sony displays the horizontal and vertical stripes checkerboard uh, accurately. Um, however, the pixel shifting brands 
uh, struggle to act accurately display these 4K test patterns, some resulting in, in practically no definition of the pixels or some strange interference patterns that um, don't resemble what the original uh, signal intended. Uh, even when you move to a, a two-dot test pattern, so this is the um, the patterns with an orange header, um, which are effectively uh, HD um, patterns, some strange artifacts still appear, especially in the checkerboard uh, patterns where there's some strange interference patterns with pixel shifting technologies. Um, and this can cause difficulties in particular with motion. So this is the so-called uh, temporal uh, resolution. Uh, you can imagine a very detailed UHD 60 frames per second panning shot of maybe a very detailed uh, cityscape image, and then attempting to shift the panel at 240 times a second is going to create some artifacts and has to result in a, in a loss of clarity through, through doing so. Um, so in, in the end of result, basically what you get is a, is a compromise. Um, and... Uh, the content that's being shown is not quite at the 4K clarity that the content creator in, intended. So in summary, um, I'd like to show you this diagram. So it shows a representation of the 4K image clarity as it goes from content to screen through all the various uh, projector components. And you can see on the, on the Sony side, as you move from content through to the uh, native SXRD panels, um, the picture process in the lens, the uh, on-screen clarity, it's all 4K throughout. This is a 4K solution designed for 4K. However, when you move to some of the pixel uh, shifting technologies, you do have a compromise. Obviously, that compromise comes to hit a certain budget level, obviously. Um, but if you want that cinematic experience uh, and you want what the director intends, then native 4K is the way to go. Um, so when you're thinking about your, your next uh, premium 4K home cinema projector for your home or basically, or maybe for your next client who wants to install a home cinema system, make sure you have a think about this message and uh, take a look at our Sony 4K uh, native uh, models um, on our Pro.Sony website uh, and you'll get those 4K images on screen um, as the director intended.